Hello friends, in this video I will show you how I made this RFID based door lock system for home. This is a must try project if you are an engineering student. I have given codes in the description box below. To begin with, we will build connections between Arduino Uno and RFID reader. Don't miss to check the complete project report that I have provided in the description. To connect the micro servo and LED, I have custom made this wire that shares one ground with two LEDs and two servos. After the circuit is complete, we can start uploading the code. Open Arduino IDE and upload the code. Then open serial monitor and tap on your RFID reader. You should be able to get the UID of your tag. Copy and paste this UID on your Arduino code and re-upload the code again. Here I have two tags by name J1 and J2. J2 is provided with access but J1 is not. When we are tapping the tag J2, the server works with a green LED, but when we are tapping the tag J1, the red LED glows. To encase the electronics, I will build a house made out of popsicle sticks. Follow the simple method to build your house. You can make this using cardboard too, but I recommend to use popsicle sticks as it makes the project look more attractive. Use decent amount of hot glue wherever necessary. Since I will be using USB power supply to power this project, I will make a slot on the wall. Mark the area and make the slot. Now you can assemble all the electronics inside. To keep the Arduino board in place, I will use this small piece of popsicle stick. To make the RFID holder and door mechanism, I created a template out of cardboard to which popsicle sticks are glued. After the glue is dry, we can attach the electronics. Start by gluing RFID reader board followed by inserting the LED to the slots provided. Use decent amount of hot glue wherever necessary. To make the door movement as smooth as possible, I adapted using this design. If you have additional length servo horn cut as shown in this video. Glue the servos as you can see in this video and allow the glue to dry completely. I have made this roof part separately using these simple triangles so that we can have access to electronics whenever necessary. Make a note that you are not heating the hot glue gun to its maximum temperature. Use optimum temperature glue to stick the micro servos to the wall. This completes the house and casing of its electronic components and we are ready to test this project. As I mentioned earlier, one tag is provided with access while the other is not. Door opens only for the register tag and for the other tag the red light shows up. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you have any question you can ask me in the comments. For more details you can check out the description box below.